So for me to put the cover back on, I've got to cover, uh, block off this hole here. It says to use a self-tapping um, quarter 20. I don't have any self-tappers, but I got a quarter 20 and I got a tap. So I'm just going to run, run some threads in there. I got a rag in here so that nothing will get inside the case. A little bit of cutting oil. See some shavings did come out. I don't know what that means. All right, I'll put a little sealing on the threads. All right, let's put this cover on. This gasket still looks pretty fresh, so I'm going to take the chance and reuse it. I wiped it all down. I checked the inside. It's all clean. So let's go ahead and put it on there. Okay. All these are the same size, so they can go anywhere. One thing about the... Um, these uh, videos, these YouTube videos, I come to find out if the videos are longer than 18 minutes, it takes forever for them to upload or they won't upload at all. So I turn on the video and geez, I can have 45 minutes of video. So it, sometimes it's tough to trim it down to 18. That's why I end up with so many uh, different parts and number of parts. So now I'm just gonna, I'm not even really tightening them. I'm just getting it to where they're all seated. I'm getting a little. Preload set at uh, 15. Let's see here. 15, 16, 17. Right there. One, two, three, four, five. One more time for good measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I've uh, been reading up on how to put these valve springs in. The keeper's got a little bit of instructions here and more over here. First thing it says to do is set the engine to top dead center. Just keep turning it. I can see the piston and I can see it right there. Okay, so that's top dead center. So for the rest of this process I don't want to turn that crank. I'm going to leave it right where it is. Next, it says to shove as much rope as you can down into the cylinder here uh, so that the valve won't drop off when you take the keeper off. That thing sounds kind of silly to me, but I don't have any decent rope. I just got a bunch of string. Got some hemostats here I can use to shove it in there. Feels like it's it's getting full. All right. All right. That looks pretty good inside. A little bit of dirt around the outside, but it's clean as a whistle. Um, there is a new gasket for this. 
somewhere around here I saw it. So we can take that off. Okay. Yeah, so I know I'm at top dead center because the valves are closed and the rocker arms are loose. Before I loosen the nuts, I wanted to check the lash, see what, how it came from the factory. According to the instructions here, intake is two thousandths and exhaust is three thousandths. And it says, consider setting your lash at four thousandths for both valves. This will give you a little wiggle room and help avoid setting the lash too tight. Alright, well, so I got my two thousandths feeder gauge here. Let's see, 2000 intake. So let's see what it says. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to put a little pressure there. Come on. Oh, that feels pretty good. That's right on the money. That's 2000's intake, 3000's exhaust. Right on the money. All right, 14, 10 right here. Come on there. Okay. Exhaust, exhaust. Intake, intake. There's push rod. Okay, so, uh, well, looks like you push down. Well, that wasn't too hard. Son of a bitch on. Okay. So then that just sits here, and the rocker arm rides on that. Okay, well that wasn't too tough. Let's see here. Let's put that back on. Put this on to the side. Okay, it comes off. Boy, look at the difference in those springs. Look at that. Holy crap. I guess these are good up to 6200 RPM. Not that I'm ever going to run this motor that hot. Okay, so put this back on. All right, let's get the cap on there. Yeah, it feels like it's where it belongs. Okay, put the cap on. Put the rocker on there. Okay, so I'll get to setting the lash here. All right, let's set the lash here. 2000s, uh intake so I got 2000 feeler gauge in there they're snug that feels good now if I can just keep this larger nut from moving there's nothing huh I was close, but go that much. It's getting closer. Yeah. Just a slight drag. Now let's hope it doesn't move on me when I tighten it up. what she says. Woo! Yeah. Let's see what see if three thousandths goes in there. Should be. See how close I got. See three thousandths won't go in. So so I think I got that one right. Let's get uh, Three thousandths 
exhaust. Yeah, still too snug. I'd rather adjust it five times. Okay, so we're still a little too snug. Like I said before, we're sneaking up on it. We're going to find it. That's almost there. Notice my uh, string thing worked. The valves didn't fall out of sight on us, so that's good. Oh, there we go. Maybe a hair snug, but not much. They usually want to tighten up on you. And that feels pretty good. It feels like the factory setting. So now, let's snug it up. Oh yeah. That feels good. Yep. We're going to put the drain. flywheel back on. I've got the special 8 degree timing key in here. It advances the timing. It says to put the flywheel on and then rotate as much clockwise as possible. You've got to get this ridge here to seat in correctly. And there's this little diagram here. You know, so I'll have to look up in here with the flashlight. It says here, uh, install timing key with notch part to the left. So that would be over here and rotate as much as possible clockwise after the flywheel is installed. Use flashlight and looking in key slot, make sure flywheel is rotated, installed as shown. All right, well, let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I see what they're saying. Let's see if I... Yeah, it's uh, the flywheel needs to twist the width of that notch. You know, I better put the spark plug back in because it needs a little resistance. The, the flywheel needs to rotate just a little tiny bit to make contact with that offset. So it would help to have the plug in here, the compression. Figure something out because it's, it's kind of stuck on the shaft. It's got to move. Let me just check it one more time. Something's hanging up. Maybe I don't have the key far enough down. Oh, it kind of came up a little bit. these little pain in the ass kind of things. Oh hey, you might have it. All right, now it's, uh, now it looks like the picture here. If I look up in there, it looks correct. It's time to put right. on the fan and of course attach the flywheel. I'm going to stick, stick with the stock fan because it's hot down here in Arizona and I don't care about a couple extra RPM with a smaller fan.
Okay. 